the CJ200 has arrived, coiled yet. So you've seen my last videos. Unfortunately, there was a, a little defect on a crimp on a little valve that was leaking. And I immediately called up uh, True Tech Tools. And faster than I can believe, another one just showed up at my place. That was really fast uh, turnaround time. And so they definitely stand behind their product and take care of any problems. And so now I'll be able to do a review because if you remember from my previous video, it was dumping water underneath the unit because of a cracked little uh, valve. That it happens in production, mass production, no big deal. A good product. Um, so I just hooked it up, started spraying it. I seen it was working. So here we go again. Uh, I lost my foaming tip and the time of delivery from last time to this time There's supposed to be a foaming tip that makes foam. Well, I misplaced it So I won't be able to show you how it makes foam for applying your uh, coil cleaners But if you recognize this condenser uh, Condenser evaporator. This is the 8 ton evaporator out of uh, the LG high static uh, air handler that was exposed to uh, corrosive chemicals uh, massive amounts of sulfur and chlorine bleach and other cleaning and sterilization chemicals and it developed a leak way down there at the very bottom row the very last tube that sits at the very bottom and stays wet all the time and where all the accumulation of all the chemicals as it condensates and the water drips down to tubes it all settles where at the very bottom where the last row of copper is and that's where the leak happened right in the corner and it happened at the junction point down there at the bottom down there it happened right at the very last row right at the junction point right on the inside where the steel galvanized plate and the aluminum and the copper all come together and that's where all the salts developed and the chemicals and that's where the leak developed down at the very bottom so let's uh, get back to the coil jet and, and right now I have it set on garden hose so the here's garden hose pressure and garden hose pressure with power so let's see what it looks like so this is what you have this is garden hose with pressure and right now I have uh, some Viper cleaner in there set to a 4 to 1 ratio okay so let's say you're up on a roof and you don't have power. So let's disconnect the power. Power disconnected. So now we only have the pressure of the garden hose. Grab the garden hose and put it on tank. So now we're on tank. Oh, now we're on the wet. Let's keep it there. Garden hose. So this is without, without electricity using the pressure of the pump. Now it's just the pressure of the garden hose. And so this is what it looks like with the pressure here of the garden hose and so now let's switch it over to power come over to power wet hands stepping in with concrete on electricity yeah good video material all right and now we have power. We have it on garden hose. Still have power on. Now we have a combination. No, we don't have a combination. There we go. The GFI really works. Turn it over to tank. Tank. So now the hose pressure is off. Now it's only power through a motor to the water in the tank. And we died. Okay. I hear it. I see it building up pressure. Definitely on. The pump is pumping. Oh, I know what that is. 
this is what happens when you run out of cleaner it'll like see that i just ran out of cleaner so let's throw some more cleaner in there it like meters itself down and it lets you know you ran out of cleaner it won't feed no more water it'll bake basically throttle back so threw a little cleaner in there so now that it'll sense cleaner it'll allow it to pump once it picks it up there it comes and as you can see the fan is starting up and that is without house pressure just using and must have ran out of concentrated because I have it at the fork yep that's it okay so that gives you a kind of quick showdown of what it could do and uh, I'll probably do another video out on a field in uh, real application but um, this is going to be used as a demo unit and since all the electronics are good on it I might do a repair on that and put it in a ham air handler and put it in my uh, either office location or home location inside an air handler and this will be future experimental products using uh, sheet metal and making up different filter housings to attach to the high static pressure air handler showing the difference between like MERV 8, MERV 13, MERV 16 and uh, using a manometer to measure the resistance of the air filters to show you how many cubic feet of a certain material air you know fiber material of the different air cleaners the tight weave of a MERV 16 a fairly tight weave of a MERV 13 and a MERV 8 or even lower and show you how much more filter surface area you need to obtain the same static pressure drop and uh, that'll be something that's done later on all right guys see you later didn't show you the wand show you that out on the field using it on something else see ya